All of his lieutenants are here. We could take down all so, of the guard. Alright. So here we go, community gamers. We're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on, what in the world's blown up over the past over the weekend. You know, it kind of started well I'm gonna say it started with oh that was ready for that. Um I'm gonna see if I can get through the shot. Okay, well you you muffled your shields anyway. Okay. <laughs> um So here we are, we've got prison adults. We're in it just a little bit over a month. And we're kind of feeling mad, right? So we're already like, gosh, was the Dark Below really better than the Taken King? Yeah, it's possible. We've got a raid at least, and that content was way more replayable than Prison of Elders. Holy solar. I forgot to say. Okay. Um, did we get a better experience with the Dark Below? It's possible. God, that's so here a terrible we are. thought. Think about that, right? So right. Thing, I mean, it's so cool. We got Trollo, we got Trollo of Osiris, which is, you know, that's debatable if that's better, and we'll get into that here in a second. But Prison of Elders, yeah, it's kind of fun. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy playing it. But the rewards are not worth it. The guns are crap. The guns are completely random. Or whether not you get anything useful at all. You know, when you get a void primary with shank burn, you know, that does you no good. So, I mean, I think they really screwed the pooch on, on, on how they do the weapons um, on that. And it, no, so, I mean, you know, the argument could be made that, you know, the Baltic Blast weapons were all overpowered anyway, so. You know, we shouldn't have been getting those powerful guns at early, blah, 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 whatever. That's crap. So, yeah, so that kind of leaves us with Prison of Elders being meh and, tra and the, this DLC. What the front door that ship two shot me? Okay, gonna, okay go ahead. Give, I'm going to give it a sec. Yeah, hey -o. Hey -o. No, what the? It ran me over. What ran you over? The ship. <laughs> I went to so, go bubble over you and the ship ran me over. That's weird. Uh, that's um, kind of funny. So we've got the, the Taken King, right? Or the, mm -hmm. whatever the heck this is. Well, no, House of Wolves. House of Wolves House is kind of, Wolves. of very, very disappointing. It was fun for about a week. Charles of Osiris is only for the super tryhard, you know, PvP players. Um, so, I mean, for the people like me, you know, I can't, I, I think I've gotten, you know, the gun once in the first week and I haven't really messed with it since because, because it was, it was kind of a pain, you know, we can, and we could talk about PVP versus PVE and why, and, and in-game achieve, um, rewards later. Um, that's another rant for another time, you know, at least yeah, in you PVE. Gotta... You gotta remember uh, console differences too when it comes to PvP. Whether we wanted it or and, not, and we hear that, right? We've, we hear, we've heard we've had some buddies who jump ship over to, to the so PlayStation to 4 and said, "Oh my gosh, it's so much easier over here." So there is that, but that, that's not, get, that's not the topic for today. The um, land tank of so Europe. we kind of already got kind of we're already it's really well bored with with with, with the right team. We're kind we of like although I will say with the latest update. The Skolas encounter is way more fun. That encounter is actually a fun fight now. I mean, I did it three times last week, um, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed down, that fight. Now, did I get anything cool out of doing it? No. I mean, we've got a handful of exotics you know, that are all kind of suspect. They're all nothing really great at anything, which is fine. I'm okay with having... Uh, um, with having that, because otherwise you're like, well, it's like the Ripper <laughs> of Call of Duty, right? Well, they only got the greatest gun <laughs> in the game, the and it we was hidden behind the paywall DLC. All right, I'm okay with getting exotic, kind of weird guns, fun guns, um, but not the best guns. I, I, that I'm okay. Where did I just launch my thing off to? Okay, um, so that's fine. I get that, um, but because there's nothing really crazy overpowered or fun. In this DLC, as far as weapons go. 
I've yet to right. get the purifier robes of the ram, so I don't know about those. Angry. See, the thing is, the, the ram, I, the only people I ever see run the ram, and I don't know if it's because they feel it, it's going to help them, but, like, uh, I mean, like, in PvP-wise, it's people who are all right at PvP to begin with. Like, they're not really that awesome. So, like, he, I think the ram is more used as a crutch um, instead oh, of, geez. like, pro gamers actually, like, using it to better their gaming. I feel like they, the pro PvP players run alternate things, like, alternate exotics so that they can get, like, second grenades oh, and yeah. things of that nature. Right. So anyway, so again, we're, we're getting off topic. Um, right. So we're kind of meh about this whole thing. And then we get the, uh, we get the, we get the Taken King. Looks cool. We get the price breakdown for it. And that's not cool. Not cool at all. So we've got this DLC, right? 40, 40 bucks for a DLC. Okay, fine. It's supposed to be super huge. It's supposed to have, you know, we're getting new subclasses, which we found out. We're getting all this neat stuff. Um, fine. I'm just gonna pay 40 bucks for it. I was actually, so here's here's my, my thing. I am kicking myself for not having the cool version of Destiny. You know, I, I, hindsight, I'm like, man, I really wish I had the, the special cool collector's edition with the extra, the fun ghost and the little tin, the maps, and the books, and all that stuff, and the patches and stickers. So I've been actually looking online occasionally to see if I can find my collector's edition. I've found a couple of them, they're super expensive. So I haven't bought one yet, but I've been thinking, man, that would be kind of fun to have. So I was, I was ready to go. I was ready to play 60, maybe 70 bucks for the whatever awesome the collector's edition here. of the Taken King was going to be. I was like, alright, I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to have all the cool stuff. I'm excited for it. So I was ready to go, and I got on, and I checked it out, and I saw what you got. And that's where it got a little lame. So for 40 yeah. bucks, you can, get the, you can get the normal edition. For 60 bucks, you get basically like the Destiny Game of the Year edition, right? You get, you get the Taken King, you get Destiny, you get um, Dark Below, and House of Wolves. Cool. That's fine. 60 bucks for those people. They can get caught up. That's super awesome. Good, because apparently you have to have, you can't just buy Taken King as a standalone expansion. You have to have everything beforehand. So that's whatever. That's cool. I don't mind that. For 80 bucks, I'm like, okay, here we go. The 80 buck edition. Now see the box. Yeah, see the pictures of all the boxes and all the cool stuff. It's got, you get a strange coin, you get all these neat things. And I get the reading. It's another, it's, you get all, you, have to, you get all the old Destiny stuff. You have to pay for content that, you know, hardcore gamers like us who are gonna buy that specific content, we already have. Yep. You have to pay for Destiny, the Taken King, or Destiny, House of Wolves, and, and um, Dark, Dark Below. Below. We have to pay for all, we have to get all of those things again. We can't just buy, there was no regular edition for like, you know, the veteran pack. We'll right. call it that. And you also get three class emotes, you know, little dances that come with it. You also get, um, oh, I'm in a bad spot. Where's that picking one? He's gonna melee into me? Oh, it's not, it's a shield guy. Um, you get three class emotes. You get, you know, some different shader, um, you get shaders, you get um, exotic class items, which allow you to get bonus XP, which we can talk about XP and what's coming with all that later. Um, yeah, we need to have a bubble, good call. <laughs> um, and you get a, couple, a few other things that come with it, some new weapons and um, advanced, kind of like the, the, uh, the Vanguard Arsenal pack. Oh, my rocket ship wasn't ready. Jesus Christ. Um, so you get all this stuff, but it costs 80 bucks. And again, it's all hidden behind the fact that, you know, 
but what's really making people mad is that it's stuff we already, you know, the, the main thing that's making people mad is it's 80 bucks. So this is 80 bucks for DLC. We have to buy stuff that we already bought. And, you know, if you bought regular Destiny and, uh, and the Season Pass, that was like 90 to 100 bucks. So you're paying almost the exact same price of that for DLC, for fancy DLC. So that's got the community and the uproar. So that was kind of that. People were already mad about it. I, I, I tweeted about it, you know, through our, through our committed gaming. You know, I was kind of, you know, I want all those cool things, but I've already got that, the game, you know? I just didn't want to buy it all over again. Right. And then... Like, it doesn't make any sense. And then... And, and here's where... I. I Luke Smith. So Luke Smith, creative director, he gave us the Vault of Glass. He's been with um, Bungie for a long time. He did a bunch of Halo stuff. He was, he's, I guess he's been kind of known as a snarky, kind of I'm sarcastic guy. Heading this way. Euro Gamer Magazine, I guess, interviewed him. And I don't know if he was... I, here, here's my somewhat benefit of the doubt to Luke Smith. He got... I wanted. I, I like to think. I don't like to think. My conspiracy thought is that he was kind of pitching. I think when they called him up for this interview, my best guess is that they were going to talk with him about the raid and the new encounters, being that he's you know the creative director. And I think somewhere in the back room, somewhere they picked him up so that they could get somebody who wasn't Deej, you know, somebody who's not a PR guy, who doesn't have the training on how to you know, pivot on questions and, and to, to dance around different things. You know, PR people go through a lot of training on how to dance around questions and, and, and do that kind of stuff. And I think that they got him on there. He's not trained in that. And then they kind of, oh, maybe Cloak and Dagger, I don't know, hit him with a bunch of hard questions about, about the price, the pricing for the Taken King, and he got, he didn't answer the questions the best he could, for sure. They, I, I think they were very direct with him, which that's fine, your reporters, you ask whatever the hell you want to ask. But right. he kind of took, you know, a little a little snark to him, you know, he said, you know, if we show you those three, emo those three emotes back on the TV screen behind the wall here, you will throw money at the screen. And basically, and some right. other things, Let's some other lines in the article, and I'll link the article below here, everybody. Um, he just kind of he gave a couple, of, you know, lines where he's like, you know, those who want to buy it, you're going to buy it. You know, the, you, you, know you, you will buy it whether, you know, because, you, because we're awesome, kind of almost. Somewhat kind of like that, but not entirely like that. But that's kind of what he alluded to. It's like, you're going to buy it because you're just going to. And so... It's interesting because so that 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 was the catalyst for Deej's tweet about how and him posting on the forums how they're going to try to fix something for us veteran players. But here's what's crazy: Forbes magazine, Business Insider, and all these other you know not necessarily gaming or Destiny specific outlets have picked it up and ran with it. And kind of talking about it, which which is kind of what surprised me. I mean, I've read the Business Insider and the Forbes um, articles, and um, it's just interesting to see, you know, not Game Informer, not whoever talking about it. You know, people who are not typical quote, typical gaming community. Yeah, so that, I, I think, find that kind of interesting too. That uh, yeah. outside sources so, yeah, like that, that are just are watch are watching this so closely that they actually see that kind of stuff and they actually write articles about it. Um, but at the same time, it's like that kind of makes sense because it's the it, it it shows the influence that gaming companies have if they make something that you like and then they give you they want to sell you extra stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how much money it is. You'll buy it because. You want right. it, and that's right. that's the thing. Right. It's like they, they can just name the price, and which granted isn't right in some sense, but at the same time, it's business. Business is business. Business is business, and they and they have, they are business. You know, Bungie, they're trying to make stuff. You know, content's not cheap. Content costs money. I get that. I understand that, and I want Bungie to be around because 
I mean, we love this game. You and I have decided to, we love this game so much. We even created a channel basically built around it. That's how much we love this game. Yeah, exactly. Like, we, we do a few other things here and there, but I want to say like 95% of what we do is Destiny. And it's just because it's such a it's such a fun game. Yes, it has its issues. Like, what game doesn't? But at the same time, he's still immune. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I was like, my Gallahorn did nothing to him. Yeah. Um. But the thing is, it's like we do. We have so much fun, even with all the issues that this game has. That. Yeah, we made a channel about it. We love doing it. We put notifications out. We watch the, uh... We, we watch out for new intel. Die, 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 and he's dead. dead. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fast. The tank was harder. The tank was harder? It really was. Um, getting to the tank was harder. Oh, I got a dragon's breath! That's hilarious. You got a dragon's breath. <laughs> Um, we must be ready to face but no, it's just like, it's really interesting that, like, all the turns that Destiny's made, all the changes they've made and everything, trying to, trying to make a better game for us. And that's the, that's the main reason I, I, I wanted to come together with you for and make this channel, is because yeah. it's like, you see what they do and how they listen to the community and they make the game better and they try to fix everything. Oh, you totally like, win. Quite, I you totally, totally win. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the main reason why uh, we love Destiny so much is that it, it's it's ever changing. It is. And, and you know, they do, you know, and we've mentioned before, you know, the, the House of Wolves, they basically gave us everything that the community wanted. You know, like, all right, you all stuck with us through the content gap between between <laughs> the Dark Below, I don't know why I can never remember Dark Below, and and House of Wolves. Here's you get you get reforging, you get you know pretty much everything we wanted. They gave it to us, which mm -hmm. was cool. Um, still, so we're still and, waiting on uh, ghost shells. Still waiting on ghost shells. We're still, I mean, and this that. goes along. So these these, these content gap thing or uh, things are hidden behind. I just don't know. I mean, it, it's it's silly, right? But I mean, I I, I, I was ready. I had. Plastic in hand, ready to drop, 70 bucks. I was going to pay the 80 bucks. I got it's fine. Screw it. I'll spend the 80 bucks. You get the collector's edition. But when I saw I was getting stuff I already paid for, I stopped. And now they're sold out, and I can't get them now. Um, the collector's edition is gone. So I will no longer have a strange coin. I was so excited to have a strange coin. Oh, man. But but I stopped. I, didn't, I mean, obviously, they didn't care. I mean, they sold out anyway. <laughs> Somebody well, bought I, I Again, it's the whole thing of what he was saying. It's like, we'll give you, <laughs> we'll give you a can of beans with a Destiny logo on the front of it. You'll pay the eighty bucks. You'll pay for it. So, and, and, and so, I'm not trying to defend Luke Smith. I think he got, he got. Uh, I think he gave a very passionate answer because you know, uh, Gathalion did a very good line on it. You know, this is a guy that designed this game, his heart and his soul is in this game, and he kind of gets sidebarred about stuff that doesn't. You know, wasn't his job. You know, they're not asking about what he did for the game. They're just sidebarring him about pricing, which is not he has nothing to do with pricing. And mm -hmm. so he got he did defending, you know, his life and passion because you know those guys got to eat too. Not saying I mean we can get into well we're not going to. But so anyway, um, I'm not trying to defend him, although I think he got sidebarred a little bit. Um, but it's just. So because of this, because of all this, because he was the catalyst of this, Bungie's doing something about it. They said they're doing something about it. They said, they look at the week, the weekly update, and they're going to take care of the veterans. Whatever that means. I have no idea what they're going to do for us. You know, I think, but, you know, would we have gotten this? Would this attention have been given to us veterans if it had not been for them kind of lambasting Sam Smith, or uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. I I think I think it would have been, hey, we sold out, so apparently you were okay with it. Like, I yeah, feel I like think that's it's possible that happened. we just would have got swept under the rug. Yeah, completely. Um, like not, but not because that, Luke Smith, not, not Sam Smith, Luke Smith. Go ahead, I'm listening. 
not that uh, Bungie doesn't care about their fan base, like because they do, they fix everything. Like they they do care about us, they do keep us in the loop. But at the same time, when it comes to money, I don't think we matter that much. Well, and I and I'm gonna throw this out there. I think part of that is Activision. I don't know. I think I think somewhere in there, Activision is, is part of that bigger, you know, pricing money equation. I don't know and what. I, I uh, would have to agree. I would have to agree. I don't know how much freedom in there, you know, is given around all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, I, we'll just, we'll kind of close this up here. Just kind of we're throwing our two cents on there. I think we'll wait and see what they give us. Um, hopefully, it's something cool. Um, I've, but at the same time, I still don't get a strange coin. I still don't get to have that collector's tin and that whole set because they're gone. And so I'm still a little bit upset about that because I've missed two opportunities to get those types of cool kind of collector's items, which you will have to pay an arm and a leg for here in about, you know, a week and a half after they, they drop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, anyway, there's that. That was our two cents on the Luke Smith scandal, controversy, whatever they're going to call it. Um, you know, now there's a thing on Reddit, and it was even mentioned, I think, in the for no, it was mentioned in the Business Insider um, article that there's going to be a uh, a walkout, so to speak. Um, and I did see it on Reddit as well, where they, you know nobody's you know, nobody's going to play. But I guess there's a thing called Bungie Day on July 7th. I guess there's think something called Bungie Day. I don't know. But the they're saying that nobody's going to play Destiny or any Bungie games. You know, no one's going to sign in, and they're going to, you know, then they'll see their numbers drop out the out the wall on that day, and they'll understand, you know, not to mess with whatever. whatever. But so there's that. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but uh, that's that's what uh, that's a thing apparently. Yeah, Bungie Day is uh, July. So July is the set is seventh month. And it's the seventh, um, and they and they drop stuff at like seven o'clock at least. I think they did last time because the seven 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 is their their like insignia kind of thing. It's their it's Bungie's thing, so that's why they call it uh, Bungie Day. Uh, uh, see, learn something. I learned something. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so there's that. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know if I'm that angry about it. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little angry, and I was glad. And I, but I'm just not sure I'm, if I'm glad uh, that the result. It, I really wish you know you can't step back and say, well, what would have happened had Luke Smith not gotten you know roasted on this whole thing? You know, would 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 right. Bungie have fixed it? I don't know. So am I happy that they're gonna fix it? Maybe. I still that doesn't put a strange coin on my little mantle, <laughs> my little gaming section. Hey, you never um, know. It could. They could have the yeah, veteran. I, I veteran doubt read a lot. I doubt that. I mean, but we'll see what happens. So, all right. Well, we'll wrap that up there. We'll continue on doing some nightfalls here. That was our, not so much a rant, but just our two cents on the current Bungie Destiny community, and I guess we're somewhat part of it. Because mm -hmm. we have a YouTube channel, so I mean, all 212 of us. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, you know, we're here. You know, I think, you know, again, that goes back to why we made this channel. We wanted to be part of the community because it was something that, you know, we enjoyed so much. We wanted to be a part of it, and this was kind of what our way that we saw that we could do it. You know, how small it may be. Right. We wanted to be involved. Like, like we we do have a small fan base. We do have a fan base, and so that means. Thank you, by the way. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Yes, thank you guys. Like, we do appreciate it a lot. We do. Um, it's awesome. But yeah, um, no, I'm. We have a small fan base, which and that shows that we are part of the community, no matter how small. And I'm okay if it's just that. I'm okay if yeah. we're just a part of it. You know what I mean? Yep, I agree. I just wish they would figure out what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I think this is a, a very a very hard lesson that, that, that Bungie's learning, you know. Let let your PR guys do the PR things and and man, I don't know what's gonna happen to Luke Smith. 
You know, the I Reddit know. say Reddit say he should be fired, but I don't want that guy to be fired. That guy designed the vault of glass. I just need him to shut up and sit back somewhere and. <laughs> I think he'll just get a slap on the wrist and be sent back to his computer. Uh, who knows? Yeah, he'll just be told never to come out and talk to anybody again. <laughs> right, you're not allowed to go to these events anymore. You sit back there and hide. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, that was that. No one of the more fun things like video games. Video games. Video games. Core frames down. Video is anybody, games. Is anybody hanging out with us? Nobody. Probably not. No, just me. No, that's cool. Welcome, that's fine. Well enough. Actually, if you wouldn't mind ending our feed, 